So it's super humid right now. I'm sweating. It's warm in here, and plus I just turned on the lights. Today, I'll be swatching all of the Ultra Lip Lipsticks by Glossier. Let's get started. Lately, I've been trying to speak Chinese more often. More specifically, I've been trying to speak Mandarin. And in the intro, I said, which is how you could say I hope you're well in Mandarin Chinese. I don't speak Cantonese, but it's definitely something I want to learn someday. Since I'm trying to incorporate more Chinese into my life, I thought I would share some words with you all as well. So one word that I thought would be pretty fitting for this video is lipstick. In Mandarin, we would say ko hong. Ko means opening and the character derives from a mouth. Hong, you might remember from my last video, and it means red. So it directly would translate to red mouth but as we can see here, Kohong is no longer exclusively red. And for those of you who didn't already know, FET, the current color that we're swatching right now, is the French word for party. I hope you enjoy these little language tangents that I go on. And if you do like it, please make sure to like the video as well. I really love learning about other cultures and other languages especially, and I wish that I could just speak every language in the world. I mean, how awesome would that be? This reminds me of a time when I was working at a jewelry store, and this girl came in with her friend, and they were speaking Chinese. Now, this was a pretty small store, so I could hear everything she was saying. And this girl was walking past all the cases and she was pointing at the items and she was talking about how ugly everything was. She kept up being like, oh, how tall, oh, like, oh, how nan can I? and like just walking past everything. And honestly, I found it really funny. But her friend saw me on the corner of her eye and her friend was like, hey, like some people might understand what you're saying. And by this point, they were right in front of me. So I just said, <laughs> and they left the store like pretty quickly. Anyways, let's uh, move on to the lips. Send your location, come through. Okay, hey guys, so let's start with the lips. We're going to start first with Lucite, which I looked up because I was like, what is Lucite? And it is a plexiglass. I think I might be missing something, but Glossier describes this color as a soft peony pink. Next up, we have Villa. And when I see Villa, I think, ooh, a lavish. Ooh, we are luxury. And that is what this whole lip color is giving me, and I'm so about it. Yes, French Riviera Villa vibes. You know what rhymes with French? Trench, which is our next color. Trench is actually giving me that like espresso, like nutty type of vibe. And it's so pretty that we could paint a portrait of it, which is our next color. So right after this video, I ended up going out to eat with one of my friends. I put on Ultra Lip as I went out, and no surprises, make sure to bring your lipstick so that you can reapply. Here we have Coupe, which is described as a blood orange, and what I noticed in general between the Generation G and Ultra Lip lipsticks are there is overlap between the price point because they're both priced at $18, but they are also both buildable lipsticks, which is something that I really like from the Glossier formulas. Then I'm going to try and FET. You can probably tell between Coupe and FET that FET is the deeper red. They say on the site that it's more of a watermelon red. I think it might depend on the watermelon, but I think it's pretty close. Then we have the color Vesper, which is how I would imagine someone with an Australian accent saying Vespa. The lipstick goes on a lot lighter than it looks. As you guys can see, it's a very berry color. And then I'm just showing you guys the kiss test. It's going to come off a little bit here. And then we have cachet. So earlier I described trench as a nutty espresso-y color, but on the website, Glossier describes cachet as a walnut brown. Lastly, we have ember, which is described as a deep mauve. 
And one thing that I do want to share with you guys, unlike the Gen G's, the Ultra Lips do not have any scent to them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to comment and like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Shishis, I Jin!